so this is a different kind of story time. I went to Otakon recently, so I have a con horror story from an anime convention. So I went as Witch Mercy from Overwatch, and I will insert a picture of what I look like here. And, uh, so it was really fun. A lot of people really like Mercy, especially the witch skin. So I got stopped for like 50 billion photos, which was amazing. Um, it was the first cosplay I ever handmade besides fursuits. So it was kind of like a learning experience. I don't know. I finished it at 6 a.m. <laughs> I worked all night on this, mainly the wings, all night with the 50 coats of paint. Um... And I finished at 6 a.m., got three hours of sleep, and then off to the convention I go. <laughs> so, I'm already really, really tired at the convention. But I'm having a lot of fun, and things are going good, except my wings keep falling off, because I have them on PVC piping so that I can twist them, but I found out I probably should just cement them in there, so my wings keep falling off. So I'm like, okay, that's not good. Um, let's just keep going, and my mom keeps putting my wings back on. But then, also, my socks keep falling down, because I made the tops too big, and I'm just like, oh, that's mildly annoying as well, but let's just keep going. And so on the day goes, I keep having to go in the bathroom to fix my wing harness down into the top. And so if you can see, the top is like, really low cut. There's no straps on it. I have a jacket, but that's not holding the top up. <laughs> and so underneath that, I have a leotard, and that's what's holding the wing harness in. But the leotard I bought on Amazon was one size too small. I normally wear extra small, so I bought extra small, <laughs> and it doesn't fit. <laughs> I need to buy a new one. And so I don't have those straps up at all and it's just kind of sitting there pinned to the top of my costume so as the days goes on the wings are dragging the leotard further down further down <laughs> and i keep trying to like pull it up as best as i can as modestly as i can without like reaching my hand down and pulling it uh, and so and just at some point i'm just like we need to go to the car now, because I can feel everything just slipping even further. <laughs> and people keep asking for pictures on the way, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, I have to go to my car. And I have this big Troco Nana. Let me grab him. Here. <laughs> that I had bought. And I'm holding him like this. <laughs> because I can feel my top coming off. And so we're running, we're running, my sock is falling down, my wings had fallen off, my mom's carrying my wings. And, like, we get across the street, and we're almost to the thing. My book on the side of my, my, um, belt, it actually opens to a purse. That opens. Everything scatters across the ground. These two nice girls have helped me pick everything up. And I've got, like, things in my hand. So I'm now carrying my crocodile like this. And, uh, here's where the horror story part comes out. I don't know when it happened. And the scary thing is it could have happened in front of these girls is my breast falls out of my top completely <laughs> and i really hope it didn't happen in front of those girls that's super embarrassing oh my god and so even more so now i have my croco nana like this holding it you know as much up as i can and my mom is just like what are you doing i'm like i have fallen out of my top so she tries to reach over and grab my top and pull it up over top of it as much as we possibly can. And I'm like, it's not working. The car is there. Let's go. <laughs> and I'm just like attaching to this as much as I can. <laughs> and uh, we finally reach it to the car and I just look over at her and I'm like, you see why I couldn't stop for them pictures now? Because she kept saying, oh, it's just one picture. Just stop. And I'm just like, no, we need to go now. <laughs> And that, that, this is, uh, 
I have not had that experience before where I've actually fallen out of my clothes in public and it was terrifying. <laughs> so um, just a little word to new cosplayers. When you're making a cosplay, test run it before a convention because there's going to be something wrong with it. I don't care if you know how to make costumes, if you don't know how to make costumes, test run it because bad things will happen. <laughs> so um, it's kind of funny now, wasn't funny then, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'm going to like three different anime conventions next year, as well as two to three other furry conventions next year. So I'm bound to have more horror stories. <laughs> uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>